Hello again, everyone. Okay, now I know in the last video there were some audio issues. I think I should have fixed them. I hope you're doing okay on this extremely warm day. It's starting to get summery, which is nice. Um, and now this is a commission uh, that I'm going to do again. A lovely commission for Tobias. Um, I'm a little out of date because I've been having some tech issues that I've been trying to fix and it's been quite hard to get a hold of tech, what with everything being shut down, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do this time is it's portrait mode, which is unusual for us, and uh, uh, we're doing some dogs. And I'm going to sort of, I'm going to, I'm going to do a thing where I'm going to do the color first. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the color first and ask questions later. That's the plan here. So it's going to be... It's going to be fine, he said. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it's going to be fine. Uh -huh. I'm going to do very light brown, because remember it's always supposed to be like the lightest color. This is actually quite a nice brush. I forgot I had this. I'm just going to do a sort of general circle. Yeah. Now I'm making this up, but it'd be interesting to try and do the structure we normally do with pencil. Uh, with some paint kind of in advance. And then we can see if we regret it later. That's fine, isn't it? Uh-huh, it's fine. To have regrets, okay. And now this is going to be more of a cartoon, we hope. I hope you guys are staying indoors. Shout out to anyone who is uh, behaving themselves. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mad situation we find ourselves in, isn't it? And now they're talking about stopping people from going to the park, because too many people went to that park. But you know, anyone could have told you that that's what was going to happen. Anyone with half a brain? Or maybe even a quarter? Do you think people who actually have half a brain from some terrible accident are very offended by the if you have half a brain thing? Because I'm sure you can function with half a brain, depending on the half. I mean, I have no medical knowledge or basis for that claim, but you know, we're just talking. Quite difficult with dogs to know when their weird sort of beard areas begin and end. They they got all their weird skin and stuff as well. Uh, famously. <laughs> Owners. I'm always impressed by those guys. You, I only ever see the result. I've never watched if they have any videos. I don't know if they might do, they may not. <laughs> those guys who are... Uh, you can get like your pet immortalized in a sort of... Uh, in a sort of um, oil painting, like a Napoleonic war hero. That's the sort of thing you can get done if you're if you're keen. Uh, I'm 
I'm sort of doing a mashup of several photos here. I wonder if that's going to work. I wonder if that's going to be sufficient. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Have I been unwise? Perhaps. Perhaps I have been unwise, but that's fine, isn't it? It's fine to be unwise. Right, now these are two dogs. This is the first dog called uh, Captain Holt which is an excellent Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference. Well done, everyone involved in that naming decision. And Captain Holt is apparently regularly uh, brutally assaulted by his, uh, his flatmate, his life partner, whatever it is, Cooper. Now, Cooper is a... Cooper looks like a Yorkshire Terrier. And Captain Holt looks like an Alsatian, but you can never be sure. Uh, Alsatians got called Alsatians instead of German Shepherds during World War One because people didn't like the idea that the dogs were German, even though Alsace and Alsatian is a you know they're like, well, it could be France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is warm today, and I'm sitting essentially in a glass cube. <laughs> right. Uh, now the trouble is the Yorkshire Terrier is mostly black, and so if we do black, we are limiting ourselves, listeners, in the sense that it will be harder to do the highlights, but maybe it won't if we do them on top. Let's, let's risk it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Uh, da -da, we can do some white highlights, like we did the other day, if you remember. We use acrylic like cheetah cheetah bobitas. Okay. Is bobita a name? It could be a name. I wonder how many syllable combinations have been used as names over the years. Probably all of them, statistically, if you count all those ancient civilizations. Right. Now, what I was thinking is apparently he sneaks up and jumps out at him all the time. So, we're going to do him like a. Uh, a sort of special forces guy. Sneaky Cooper. Sneaky old Coops. Okay, Coops. Now then. Let's try and do your fuzzy little head. <laughs> it's a bit of shadow there. Does that make it better? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Okay. A fabulous set of bat ears, this dog. And a fabulous set of moustaches. Uh -huh. Let's do some general fuzz. That would be a good nickname for a dog, general fuzz. from the center of the beast. Okay. Okay. 
Now, we've got to make sure that this dog is done first, so this dog is clearly behind it. That's the crucial problem that we're going to face with this. Okay, let's clean the brush. This is a nice brush. I need more brushes like this. This is the good stuff. Living the high life with this sweet brush. Okay, that's Coop's kind of existing there. Now let's get old dog face sorted out. Old dog face. Probably needs a bigger face. It's very rare that you can say of someone that they need a bigger face. But in this dog's case, you'd be absolutely bang on. If you are bored today, I recommend watching on this very website, YouTube, um, a compilation of uh, when Matt Lucas was George Dawes in Shooting Stars, uh, all the crazy characters and songs he did. They're very, very funny. One is quite problematic, but that's okay. It was the olden days. I assume. Um, excuse me while I blow my nose. It's hay fever season. <laughs> Shout out to all of my fellow hay fever sufferers. I'm sure you're coping in these trying times. Um, okay. This is uncharted territory for me, so I hope you all sympathize and don't expect me to be too amazing. But maybe you're thinking, you know what? You've made your sleeping dog's bed, now lie in it. And maybe that's what you're thinking to yourself. Maybe you're a harsh and unforgiving patron of the arts, fan. Can one have fans in situations such as these? Now, this brush is quite good if you flick it to create the kind of impression of hair that we're trying to give this dog. Lots of people can do impressions at parties, but can you do an impression of hair? Because that's what this brush is doing. Although technically, I guess the brush is made of hair. I think, I'm not quite sure. Uh, 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 uh. Dogs always have hair that sort of goes into their ears. I mean, I know we do as well, I suppose, but in a way that seems a lot more invasive than human hair. I'm amazed that their hearing is supposedly so good. I wouldn't be able to hear anything with all that hair in my ear. Now, the main sort of colour on this dog's face here is a kind of... I'm trying to zoom in on this photo. No. It's kind of grey, to be honest. It's, look, it's in this photo, anyway. It's, it looks blacker in other photos. But... Well, I'll sort this out, don't you worry. black. There we go. Just doing a general. I end up destroying this paper if I don't care. Always be careful with your moisture. That's what my old gran used to say, probably. She must have said that at some point. Again, we're playing the statistics game. 
a lot of there was a time when it was quite unique and interesting to say that the word you hated the sound of mo most was was moist and then some tv show got a hold of that idea and it's become almost sort of conversationally hack and i'm not sure how these things become hack or not these little conversational ticks we all employ to attempt to seem interesting or relevant but by god it has kind of done that Okay, well that's something. <laughs> that's become the catchphrase of this desultory affair. Well that's something, he said, nodding to himself, hoping that the nods will make it all seem more real. Uh, okay. Now then, now then, he said, pausing for thought. Pausing for thought. Am I still being picked up by the microphone? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. Now then, now then, now then. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I've got the angles right for this. I mean, I, I said it's supposed to be a cartoon, and then I'm getting distracted by how dogs' faces actually look. Um, all right, this is the head of the dog. Oh, that's kind of there, and then... Can I see the body here? It could be if I say it is. It's the magic of... Magic of uh, cartoons, lads. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be quite a weird looking couple of dogs, but maybe that's all right. Maybe that's okay. It's going to be swinging in on a rope. From the point of connection, the rope should descend. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, kind of got across the old dog face there, but that's all right. That's all right. The dog will cope. We, however, may just be shattered into a thousand pieces like glass. Um. Yes. Okay. Now we're working with something. It's unclear what, but by God. Say it together with me now. It's something. Okay. Hmm. Do I dare take out some drawing pens that say water resistant? Can be used to overlay on watercolor. Hmm. Yes. Well, we can all claim that pens, can't we? Big claims here coming in from the pen community. Well, maybe it's our old friend Black Ink's time to shine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can it be true for you and you and you? Let's give it a go. And let's use a pen we haven't used before. That appears to have been made in Korea. Let's give the Korean pen a chance, for God's sake. Haven't they done enough for us? What with various technologies, he said. And there's a lot of people who listen to my podcast I do with Phil Wang that seem to live in Korea. 
And by a lot, I mean I can remember two. Which, to be fair to me, is an infinitely higher number than the zero of people who live in Korea that I knew before. That's my excuse for finding it so impressive and interesting that I had to bring it up. Down here, down here, okay. Well, these will be lovely dog eyes. You can feel the wet paper coming off in my nib, which is a shame. So it will make life more difficult for everyone involved, but that's all right. I'm sure Tobias has many other concerns right now than my wet old nib. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he's been sat by the front door thinking, when will that pig, that swine, hurry up and sort out this damn commission of mine? Well, if that's the case, Tobias, I can only apologize. Um, I watched, uh, I introduced my flatmate to the Hannibal TV series, and you'll never guess who's in it, Eddie Izzard pops up doing a good old turn as a terrifying killer. And you know what, for all his whimsy, he's pretty scary when he wants to be. Old Eddie. He can be scary if he wants to be. Now it's kind of taking shape. I hope uh, you're now more reassured by my techniques here. I can I can sense that some of you are watching thinking, well, he's done himself now. He's done himself into an absolute corner there. And maybe I did for a second there. You know, I'm not too proud to admit it. Maybe I did do myself into a flipping corner for a second there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Everyone feels like their pets have personalities, don't they? And they're not wrong. Although I will say, I once met a dog that didn't seem to have any personality, and it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it just sort of... It was like there was something wrong with it, it just sort of existed. It didn't really have any... It was just like, oh, hello. It was like a dog accountant. I was like, no, no, that's rude to accountants. I know plenty of charismatic, drunken accountants. I mean, hopefully not at work, but you know what I mean. But it was very... Yeah, it was just... It just sat there, just like, what do you want? I was like, well, I don't know, you're a dog. What do you want? Normally dogs are quite keen on several things, but you appear to have no interest in anything. It was a dog with no joie de vivre whatsoever. That's way too much liquid. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. They've got these little sort of dot eyebrows. These socks are quite strange. Generally, quite good guidelines. These sort of made it a bit too jowly, I think. Why is that stuck in my head again? It really is not acceptable.
more stuff on the nib. There are more things on the nib, Horatio, than could ever be dreamt of in your philosophy. By which I mean the nib has become an absolute disaster. No, no, I saw it coming and I failed to prevent it. I did nothing. Oh dear, dear, dear. Uh, bits of tissue are our friend. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we can do to salvage this. using a slightly less suspicious paper, I think. This paper is sort of okay, but it's not... For some of the splashy activities that we're all enjoying so much, it's not really good enough. beautiful animal like this is the eyes. You definitely don't want to get the eyes wrong, so let's try and get the eyes right. I'm going to add highlights later, he said, excusingly. Color in the dark bits, don't color in the light bits. This is the coloring in prayer. Da, 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 da. Okay. That's pretty good, okay. Now we're cooking a little. Now we're cooking a little bit here. Okay, now let's see if we can be clever boys and rub out that pencil, because that's bugging me now. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right, 
Right, right, he said, with false decisiveness in his tongue. Da, da, da. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That looks a lot more like a dog. <laughs> and thank God, because by the Lord, that's exactly what they wanted was a dog. And not just any dog, their dog, which is more specific and therefore harder. <sighs> okay. Uh, in the brush. Nice, yes. Right. Now what do we do? What other thing can we do with ourselves now? Let's try and dry it a bit quickly. It's not much that's not dry there. It's dried quite well. Let's wash this then. Oh, making a mess. Making a mess. And now that we have the sort of general colours we need, I think we can just go in a bit more generally with our brushes. Now, where are our brushes? Where's all reliable? I think this is all reliable here. Okay. Now then. dark bits of this. <laughs> There's a sort of certain dark bit here. Some other darker sort of bits around the eyes here. That are quite fun to do. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had a German Shepherd called Kara, who lived outside, but she would come to the windows at night saying, hello, will you be my friend? And my younger sister would go out, and this is when she was like three or four, and be like, I'll be your friend. And we'd have these like slightly Adam's family in hindsight, slightly, <laughs> slightly creepy sort of midnight garden adventures with her friend, the, the Alsatian. Um, so she was a real sort of, um, Georgina of the jungle. <laughs> yeah, very strange. Uh... that become smoother. The point where all this just becomes smooth out and sort of small hair. The brown is slightly too yellow, I find, so I'm going to have to do a wash over this at some point to unyellow the brown. Um, but, you know, there's, there's time for that. There's time for that. How many artists... I've just thought of this. Maybe this is my USP. How many artists would have the guts during a commission to... <laughs> all the stupidity... to sort of sit and slowly <laughs> describe 
what they perceive to be the inherent flaws in their own work. That is a kind of radical honesty that you could found a cult on. I'm quite sure. I'm sure someone will. This is quite difficult because the actual, a lot of the fur on this beast is quite light. It's quite light old fur. So I do need to do something with it, but it's quite hard to get that kind of dilution. side of the ears, which is a, definitely a base coat situation. We'll go over that in a second. Obviously, it's not that it's not that pink. Okay, and. Some dark brown now, dark uh, black rather for the nose. Um, a bit too black. Here we are. Okay. And there's sort of highlights around here, but we'll do those later. Just do it all. Let's just do it all. It'll be easier for us when we go back. If we just do it all now. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, now. Bit of darker stuff going on here. Um, there's a bit more of a curve to this. So I'll try and represent that. Mm hmm. Jowly, but he's not that jowly. What's that about? What have you done here, dog, to trick me like this? Is it the dog's fault? No, it's not the dog's fault. It's my fault. Um, okay. looking quite good. It's almost, you, it's something that funny has occurred to me, doing this and like, it feels more and more like doing camouflage. You can sort of see how these natural lines of hair and stuff would have hidden a, a predator like a, a wild dog. It's all very sort of disruptive, isn't it? Their face is darker. And disruptive in, a, in, a, in an image sense, not in a kind of, whoa, your face is different to your body color. Um, Yes, okay. Um, right. Yes, we were getting somewhere there. Now I've done something that's disrupted the image. 
even more, and I don't know if I, that was the right thing to do. Let's have a go at fixing it, he said, with dread in his stomach that he might make it worse. Da 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 Do you think Donald Trump tried to change the president music? You know that music when the American president is just walking ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba da da Hail to the Chief, that's what it's called. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool name there. It's called Hail to the Chief and it's like the entrance music. <laughs> it's the intro for the president. For season forty six of the president. Um That's what that is. And so do you think he was like, this This is terrible. This isn't, it's got no rhythm. <laughs> I want my own new music. Commissioning all these DJs and stuff, getting, or Kanye would have done it. Kanye would have done it. You know what, now I'm in favor of it, just to see what the hell someone like Kanye does when they say, can you please compose the music that is for the actual president? It would have been crazy, whatever it would be. It would be crazy. Maybe that's... I'm going to blow that with my finger a bit, just to make it extra art. You know art? Well, this is even more like art now. Because I blurred it with my finger a bit, like finger painting. Da -da -da. Needs to be more defined. But we can do some of this with the highlighting. It's just a for now problem. And sometimes problems are just for now problems, so you can ignore them because you know you'll fix them later. You know you'll fix them later, so you can be complacent now. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Do, 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 okay, that hasn't fixed it, because I treated a for later problem like a for now problem. Listen to your own advice. Okay. <laughs> All right, it certainly looks like a dog. There's no taking that away from us, boys and girls, and anyone else. Um, okay. There we go, there's a bit more spirit in his eyes now, if we give him a slightly raised eyes. Da da da, okay. That's looking like a pretty good dog right there. If I do say so myself, and I do. That was my Andy Bernard voice. Never do that again, Pierre. The people don't like it. They find it a bit much. Okay, yeah, nice. Now, I would say this dog has got glowing brown eyes. Glowing, I say. So let's try and capture that, shall we? That little bit of expression I added with the darkness needs to be darker. So we're going to dip into our old friend Pen to right this terrible historical wrong. There we go. That's better. Thanks, Pen. You go rest over there for a second. And making 
that glowing light in something as little as this is really, really difficult, but let's do our best. And if we do our best, no one can say we didn't do everything we could, which is the one advantage of doing your best, because otherwise doing your best is absolutely exhausting. And if you're trying to relax, I wouldn't recommend ever doing your best. It's <laughs> my healthy life advice for you. Okay. Right, now we're gonna save some of that action for highlight time. Just get rid of the overspill there on the eye. Okay. Uh, right, 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 he said. Hmm. Could it be time? Could it be time to do some pen lines? It could be. There's no real way of knowing. How did Willy Wonka get so good at singing? How much of his time? Mind you, some people are just good at singing, aren't they? Absolutely infuriating, that sort of thing. That kind of talent when you come across it. Now this is, I will say, Infinitely easier than using a big nib. Okay. Right, and then we've got a much darker sort of thing here. Okay, and then that goes up like that, and that's kind of a good line for now. Um, let's make sure that we're not doing something terrible like taking a lovely spontaneous bit of watercolour drawing and ruining it by adding black lines, which is what we might be doing now actually. I often wish you could freeze your work in stages and preserve its wonderful um, pre-fiddle effects. But that's not possible in this terrible life we lead, is it? No, it's not. And so on we go, non-denominational soldiers. <laughs> okay. Somewhere. This is looking more and more like a dog with each day that goes by, like a very gradual werewolf. Which might be the scariest kind of werewolf if you just became a werewolf over sort of months. That would be terrifying. At least if it's all over in one go, you can start, I don't know, adjusting? Adjusting your schedule? It needs to be more curved. There we are. Quick fix there. Cheeky quick fix. Okay. That needs to be. Area. Mm -hmm. oh, this needs to be quite delicate and go around. This needs to be delicate and go around there. Okay, this 
this dog's got a kind of eyelid thing happening. Uh, eye bags. It's tired. It's knackered from being chased around by Cooper. That's the real problem here. Never forget that this is Captain Holt, for God's sake. Show, show this stern beast some respect. Captain Holt is an excellent sitcom character. If you have not seen any of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I recommend it. It is a lot of fun. Um, I wonder if the actor who plays Captain Holt knows that people are naming their dogs after him. Probably. You should tweet him. He probably knows. I mean, he doesn't know about your dog. It would be chilling if he knew about that. That's a chilling level of vanity searching, isn't it? It's a bit darker. Now this is where we try and solve the before problem. There we go. This is nice, this is nice. Okay. It's not where we try and solve the before problem. Pierre, you're forgetting that. That's when you do the little white highlights. That's when it's really time to solve the before problem. Yes, okay. Okay. So we just got some general there's a lot of just like you know the dogs have that kind of neck fuzz? Like they're wearing they're always wearing a big hairy cravat. <laughs> Show me your hairy cravat. That's how dogs flirt with each other. Where is your hairy cravat? Où est ton cravat de cheveux? And that's me tutoying someone because I clearly do not respect them. Or we are of similar social standing. How do the French constantly assess who's got what social standing? The British do it by accents and whether or not you're wearing a big tie, which is uh, less tiring, I imagine. Lazy streaks here. They've, they've lowered the overall quality. I can't help but feel. Okay. Yes. 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 No. 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 Okay, and then so it's got the neck fuzz here. Uh, so this is kind of general body here. there okay and that's kind of the dog isn't it that's not too bad at all we can't be too upset with ourselves for drawing an alsatian like that we really shouldn't be too upset and now we need our old friend white acrylic i think is gonna have to make an appearance now let's see what happens if we get our old friend white acrylic involved and first, we've got what you might call, let's do what you might call gray lights. Mid lights. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a go, isn't it? It's worth a ruddy go, he said. Ruddy. It's worth a ruddy go if we mix some Indian ink in there. Ooh, yeah. A very appropriate grey. Okay, now then. Grey and a bit of brown actually. How do I do that? How do I drop in a bit of brown? Because there is a bit of brown. Mm -hmm. Not 
gonna grow it, I'll just mix it in. You only live once. He said, possibly creating some sort of terrible quality control problem. <laughs> but that's for future Pierre to worry about. And that guy has a lot to worry about. So screw him. Okay, now then. Da 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 Okay, yeah. I swear I've got some kind of like really thick version of acrylic that I don't really know how to cope with, but you know. Okay. Let's see what I've done there. Yes, right. This is good. This is working out. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, what else am I missing here? He's just generally much lighter along here than I've given him credit for. To be fair to the dog. And here too. Uh, yep. There too. Okay, we can touch that up in a second. Now, what we need to do is, oh, hang on. Uh, a bit more highlights around here. Nice and soggy paper so no one can fix it later. Ha ha ha. Um, da 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 da. Okay, now the eyes are going to be a real, a real sod, a real sod of the earth. As difficult as digging some sod, that's what that means. It's not, but you know, 
Let's try and be nice. Let's try and be nice and not use naughty words, Pierre. Uh, do do do. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Fine, fine, fine. And the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Okay. Yeah, see the difference it makes. God, it's immediate, isn't it? The glint's not actually that big in real life. Got some curve in there. And now let's try and do a sort of vague shine. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it's a kind of like a thin film, this this bit where it's shiny. Doing that thing where it's not actually that shiny. Okay, rubbing off the little bits of highlight here. And the nice thing about doing anything on top of black is, as always, you can just go right back over it again. It'll be cheeky and give them some shine he doesn't really have. That's what portraiture is all about. <laughs> There we go, that's quite the dog. Oh, where does this glow come from? This glow in all of us. Okay, that's nice, that's good. How, are we? How dry is that? It's dry enough, I'd say. It's dry enough. What a lovely looking dog. What a happy boy. What a good boy. I assume it's a boy because it's called Captain Holt, but it may not be. It may be a lady with a man's name. Okay. Make this a bit more reasonable. There we go, that's nice. And then we got some more. There we are, yep, yeah. and then. Hmm, that needs to actually be a bit more like our old friend, Mr. Gray. Um, needs to be a bit darker that. Where is that then? Okay. She just needs to be dark, annoyingly. Right. It certainly can't be that bright. What would the neighbours say? I wonder what my neighbours think. I wonder if any of them can see me here in my sort of... I live in a flat and it has a kind of internal balcony where it's like a balcony, but it doesn't go outside. It's like an inside balcony. And I'm sort of in there like a kind of glass cube, like a, like a supervillain. Yes, it's not for me to say. Um, and it's sort of, uh, the audio quality is okay, isn't it? All right. Nothing to write home about. Right, okay, that's a lovely, that's a good looking. You know, I don't even remember the last time I tried to even draw a dog. So I'm very pleased with this, I'm very smug about it. I'm going to be a very smug dog about it myself. Mm. 
Okay. Right. A big whisker there. Messy hands, messy hands. Oh, uh, don't get pencils in the paint. Oh, that's only one dog done. Um, but I'd say it is done. Now oh, it's time for the other boy to get his treatment, his close up. Let's find that picture. Right, the dark and mysterious dog, this one. Let's see. Maybe we should just do a big old ink guy. Would that be crazy? Would we be mad? Let's give it a go. Let's do it. We've got our old friend acrylic here for when things get really wrong. So let's do it. Give him a big old nose there. And uh, he's got wonderful dark ears. I feel like I'm almost doing calligraphy. Wonderful dark ears, and then he's going to have some dark eyes around here, and then he's going to have a lot of the darker fur seems to be around here. Um, yes. Okay, that's good. Now he looks like a little burglar. Now, the body, which in this case I'm making up. In the other cases it was at least based on a true story, whereas now I'm really making up a body. Because it's a silly cartoon body. So now we're going to get real creative. Real creative! Do you think Americans notice sometimes when British people sound too uh, American? And do they think it sounds bizarre and patronizing? Or do they not notice? Do they think, ah, intermittently there, that guy sounded normal. Like a person should. Like us. I don't know. There we go. Uh -huh. Now the devil really is going to be in the highlights here. Boy, is it ever. Oh, boy. You've signed yourself up to an absolute highlight fest, Pierre, and I hope you're ready. Let me just check on this dog's tail status. Oh no, come on, computer. Don't be like that. I feed you all the electricity you could ever want, and this is how you behave. Let's check out what kind of tail this dog has. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it's got a pretty, a pretty fuzzy old guy. Okay. Okay. Certainly given ourselves a challenge here, haven't we? Viewers, kind viewers, generous viewers. Oh boy. Right, how's he gonna get out of this one? Make him nice and fuzzy, because by God he's fuzzy. If you could see the level of fuzz I'm dealing with here, you would hurl your laptops to the floor in disbelief slash keyboard if you're watching on a monitor, like a guy in an office. Yep, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is one of those dogs that's, it's also dark. What's going on with the dog is that it's, it's sort of, um, it's got eyes in theory. It's got theory eyes. There's no two ways about it. There's no way of sugarcoating this, the, the situation. It's got a serious case of theory. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. 
foolish boy. What have you done? You've created an absolute conundrum. And I've used the wrong water now as well. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Let's see then. Let's try and salvage our self-respect from this absolute madness. Uh, hmm. I don't know if it would be possible to salvage our self-respect from this absolute madness, but we're going to try. Well, that's zooming in too far, but that's fine. Well, hello there, Mr. Dog. Let's see, what can we do for you today? Um, I think... Oh my god, I'm getting paint everywhere here. <laughs> this is supposed to be relaxing. For you, not for me. You know, stress is transferable. People don't think about that enough, do they? When they're being all angry and stressy around you. They don't think enough about the transferability of the damn stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try. We should cover the boy, shouldn't we? So we don't smear the boy. There we are. How grown up am I? How much have I learned from my mistakes? Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Uh, the boy's nose is pretty much here. Oh man, this isn't diluted enough. Why won't you dilute for me? Boy's nose is sort of here. guy's mouth, but just so faintly. Little triangle there. Eh? Um, okay. So we've got a kind of stuff coming off here. got a kind of white beard, doesn't he? Little dog. This little chap of ours. There's a lot of darkness around the beard hair here. It only starts to sort of become visually speaking, hair, quite far away from the nose. The nose is like an epicenter, like a black hole. Yep, around here. Okay. Right, and then the hairs go out quite far. I am totally diluted. And they sort of go across the, just back to about here maybe, and then becomes eyebrow town. There we go, you see it taking shape there, now that it's become eyebrow town. So it's eyes are here, and here. Go 
got some absolute danglers. For eyebrows. He's quite a charismatic looking guy once you zoom in. As are we all, hopefully. As are we all, we'd all hope to be described in that way at some point, I'm sure. Oh, no, 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 no. We must have dilution. Dilution sounds like the name of a Roman emperor. Not one of the main ones, one of the ones that no one really... He did lots of interesting sort of economic reforms, but beyond that, people, are, people have no time for him. As being a Roman emperor, emperor of Debatably the sort of biggest empire ever, blah, blah, blah. And people still just like, who? You'd be so annoyed. You'd be like, I ran this show. <laughs> he said, I beg your pardon, I ran this, this this ridiculous circus of ours for years. And yet here you sit, claiming to not have a clue who I am. You'd be pretty livid. See, now it's starting to look like a dog, isn't it? A kind of Halloween-y... Do you ever see those things where you could you could buy... Uh, they were like... They would be more likely to be sold in like a news agent than an than a arts and crafts shop, but it was like... It would be black, black, black paper, and then you would draw... You would scratch it away, and it would be gold underneath. Or it would you would draw on top of like chalk or something, and they'd be like, reveal the image! And you'd think, oh, I could reveal an image! I've never revealed an image, I've only ever... Uh, made one, like a, like a, some sort of, you know, hobo, this is revealing, and then you'd go and you'd do it and you'd try and, oh, it's just impossible. Absolutely impossible. There's, there's fuzzy paws coming down here. We need more. Say it with me. Dilution. Okay. Fuzzy paws coming down here. Body. Then we've got a big old leg coming. Big old leg guy. There we go. Leg boys. Everyone's favourite boys. Leg boys. Okay. Ooh, that was a big blob of ink. Did not know that was there. Okay then. Sort of insane. Thing going on. Okay. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Alright, let's try and do. Dogs like this are so fuzzy, it's almost obscene. <laughs> Don't really know what I mean by that. What do the dog's paws look like, he said, baffled. I mean, these paws are also fuzzy. And we touch it up a little here. Now we do a little bit more fiddling. That paws are so fuzzy. What a fuzzy boy it is that we've got here. Okay. Um, go back up to the ears again. Yeah, the ears are just like dark, dark, dark ears. Aren't we? Okay. Right. So I need this I need this basis here, this base, this bright base, because when I go in again, and I will go in again, you mark my words. When I go in again, I need it to be light enough that I'm drawing on top of something light, if that makes sense. 
And the eyes, to indicate the eyes here is going to be a real tough call. So maybe I'll do that now. Um, right, how will we do this? Maybe I'll just paint them white and then we'll go in with them in a bit. And then any of the hairs that go over the eyes in this scenario, it's appropriate, isn't it? Because that's what's happening. Okay, right. I was a bit reckless there because he does actually have a big highlight on top of his schnoz. Um, so we can afford to be a little reckless with that. And now, hmm, is that dry? Let's try and make this dry. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's something. It's our old friend, Mr. Pen. Marine Le Pen, no, Marine Le Pen is not our old friend. <laughs> that was close. How's the online drawing going, Pierre? It's fine, but the other day I accidentally endorsed a fascist. You know how it is. No, I don't. I no, no longer trust or respect you as a friend. No! No! Not like this. Not through f French fascism. Um... face. He's got the fuzziest face. His name is Cooper and he's a trooper. He likes to jump on Captain Holt. Let's hope Tobias thinks that this drawing's any good. Because if he doesn't, we're in trouble. Let's not think about that while we draw. Because it makes the whole thing from art into a sort of panic. Okay. The nose, our old friend the nose. Okay, yes. He does have hair across his eyes. Certainly fuzzy. <laughs> he's almost, he's almost terminally fuzzy. happening behind this guy. He has a very sort of fuzzy swoopy tail.
quite good the angle of this, maybe. Just slightly bigger dog bum, maybe. 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 Now, we're, whatever on earth Cooper's up to is taking shape. Isn't that right, Cooper? Okay. Now, he's got a circle of light here, and he's got a little sausage of light here. And that's kind of it for all Coops. He's got a grey bit here. The rest of this eye is black. It's a moonless night. And then this guy, this eye over here, that's dark, that's got to be fixed. He's got a sort of grey bit here. And it's kind of dark a bit here. I don't want to ruin this pen by trying on paint with it, but it looks like that's what I'm doing. And it does kind of round again. Right, now this needs our old friend. Oh, I left it in the water. You must never do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Because I'm your art dad. <laughs> right, okay. I'm trying to remember what I said. It's not much worse than getting your own instructions wrong, I will say that. Okay, that's good so far. through. Has it gone through? A little. Oh, oh, the tragedies. The tragedies, will they ever cease to afflict us? Probably not. paint. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not what we wanted at all, is it? That's not what we needed or wanted in this terrible time. We may need to do some more false brightness, everyone. Just don't tell them I told you. And then some serious ink. Some serious ink. From a serious dick. And we'll wash over that in a second, but that's fine. Okay, now let's make Try and make a very dark grey. A really dark grey, that's what we need now. For the schnoz, our old friend the schnoz.
Yes, that's quite schnozlike, isn't it? Of all the schnozzers I've seen, I'd say that's pretty schnozzy. Yeah. And there's a lot more fuzz actually around the dog's eye than I've been giving this dog's eye credit for. Don't insult, you're an absolute dog's eye. Dog's breakfast means messy. Does that mean messy in America? Do you guys say that? Do you have that phrase? You guys say that. Um, hmm. I feel like what we need now is a sort of general wash. General wash. To salute here. Okay. That's nice. Looking at a couple of fun dogs there, guys. Well done us. We should be pleased with ourselves. With, you know, with, with, with limits. I think if you can hear a dog, that's not just like, <laughs> that's not how good the drawing is. There is a dog outside going crazy. He's probably seen another dog, which you think wouldn't be such a revelation to him. But you know, I guess if you grow up in a house of humans and you think you're a freak, then when you see another dog, you're like, oh my God, he's like me. That guy's got hair like mine. That's what I'm going to do when I start seeing someone else who's, who's like tall with a beard or something, like even vaguely similar to me. Ah, hey, yo. It really is supposed to be darker than this, you know. He's gone a bit midnight blue, which I'm sure Cooper is prone to doing. I'm sure he's had more than enough opportunities to go midnight blue in his time. Some proper black back in this.
How's that looking? Oh, yeah. It's nice and cartoony. Now, what we've got to do here for the cartoon to be complete is we've got to give this guy a rope to be swinging on, don't we? That is our next responsibility here as artists. As artists. Okay. Now then, Coops, let's give you a rope, shall we, boy? Okay. Stop dipping things in paint. Oh my lord, what a disaster. Let's move this over here. We've got a clean guy here for us to lean on. That's the kind of thing we want. General rope shape. And of course, general rope shape was uh, a very, uh, a terrible general in the American Civil War. Ebenezer rope shape. He fought the Battle of uh, uh, Pohiga. All right, okay. That's what the kids might call a rope. Um, now, let's hope that dry so we can... Uh, what are we doing with fiddling? Where's the rubber? There we go. Here's the rubber. Yes, yes. Okay. Needs to go. That needs to go. thing we want, guys, is for the rope to just seem like a, some sort of big poo. <laughs> I mean, I know it's very, it would be very thematically appropriate for considering what my podcast is like. The one I do with Phil Wang, which you should listen to if you haven't. There we go. We're cheating this a little bit, but that's okay. Up 
There we go, and don't worry about these those errors, we can sort those out in a second. Okay, now we can sort out the little errors. I think one of the reasons that I try and aim for this to take a certain length of time is because I'm doing this with a microphone in my phone, that means my phone has no battery power. <laughs> so there is a real element of like timed examination to this that I may or may not be coming across. Um, right, awesome. Highlights, highlights, do, 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 do. Okay, right. Do some highlights on the rope here. Too highlighty. What are you, Goldilocks? Yeah, when it comes to these highlights, I am. with our old friend Pen. Uh, dirty, dirty tissues everywhere with paint on that I just love to get on my hand any chance I can. Apparently. Okay. And uh, off my hand. Here we are, and then let's see. The worst thing when you're doing letters in a drawing is if you, <laughs> the terror of making a, uh, a grammatical mistake at this level, <laughs> having to cross this out. 
You'd feel like such a bum. There we go. Oh, I'm happy with that. I, I don't mind telling you, uh, uh, Toby, if you're watching, or anyone else watching that, I was absolutely cacking it before I did this. <laughs> <sighs> Thank the Lord. Right. Uh, what was the... I won't, I won't let you see my signature, because it's a secret. Ha ha ha. Um, I've posted off the last commission, the Pope drawing with the audio problems. I will try and do a re-upload with better audio. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's been posted to America of all places. Imagine living in America. What a world. Uh, but that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.